From basketball to books, it had been a full day of learning. Now, after a good night's rest, it's time to refuel. We got some good breakfast downstairs. You always gotta wake them up, make sure that they, they on time. All college students love to sleep. Especially ones that regularly spend as much energy as the Scarlet Knights. But while they may start slowly, they will be at warp speed later. Good morning. Man, always looking like he's asleep. Then he wake up after a while. <laughs> J.J. Moore and his teammates do everything together. After breakfast, they will start burning calories as they head for the shoot around. We basically just take it easy, you know, save our legs. We, uh, we get some shots up, a lot of shots up. Uh, free throws, and then we go through our plays and go through their plays, you know, um, so that we can know what we to expect on the court. Uh, we usually watch some ESPN, but I'm getting I'm sick and tired of watching the Super Bowl. You know, <laughs> they keep bringing out Super Bowl highlights, so I'm tired of that, man. So I usually I'm a cartoon guy, so I, I watch a lot of cartoons. Um, I'm a video game guy, play a lot of games, you know. JJ, man, it's my big bro. We, I mean, we roommates at home, so you know, it's not like we don't see each other as much. Like we just see each other in the gym or class. Like we pretty much around each other 24/7. There are friendships here that are being forged for life. It is a privilege to play basketball for the State University of New Jersey, and the Scarlet Knights know it. They know they are getting the best quality education in the classroom and on the court. And they are having fun while doing it. Anxious for their next chance to put the latest lessons to the test. The guys take their jerseys uh, after the meal and go up and get changed to go over to the arena before we get on the bus. Rutgers road trips are choreographed to go off without a hitch to the last detail. Won't be you, Junior. This is gonna be Jerome. He should be I trust him because he's he's been in this in this organization like he's been in in the NBA, he's been he's been here himself and um, just he just knows his way about um, all the stuff that's going on and all the stuff that you have to know going into the next level. So um, I just I just feel like just listening to him is is a is good is a good thing for me because and also he he coached one of my favorite players of all time, Allen Iverson. So just I just know that he he has a lot of um, he has a lot of stuff to say and he, he knows what he's saying. Up here, five T should be up here. We should be splitting these three receivers. And with you being more aggressive, and you being more aggressive here, right? So you should be up, Jerome should be here. That should be a spot to fill. Just go through now. Let's go. Let's flow. Let's go. Let's go. Go through. Don't stand up here. Eddie Jordan has coached NBA All-Stars. His team knows it, eager to learn what he already knows. With all the leaders around them, they can't help but develop leadership skills themselves while still having fun. The alternate Spider-Man boots are left behind. And after a quick check for text messages, a new day's adventures are about to begin for these members of the Rutgers basketball family. I left a book upstairs. Oh, oh, you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> you can that book now. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I, I gotta do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to finish on the I'm My guy from that stairs more than my leg. Oh, it's worse, man. If I go, I'll, I'll take you to get her at the game. Yeah, I'll let you know. All right, See ya. Good luck. All right, buddy. Good to see you. Good. Good. JJ, man, JJ. Good luck. Good. 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 <laughs> the only time he shoots is when he touches it. Hey, Oh, that was my man, Darius Morris from LA. Made point guard, man. Just met him. That was my first time meeting him. Feels good out here, man. Assistant coach Kyle Triggs also has NBA ties after coaching with the Lakers. 
and introduce J.J. Moore to NBA point guard Darius Morris. The opportunities here are endless. Ever American Conference matchup between the Tigers and Scarlet Knights. They're aggressive. They feed off, feed off a hard, aggressive defense. Try to get steals, transition, dunks. Uh, we're going to contain them tonight. Try to get this done. One, two, three, win. We hit, man. Yeah. All you, man. We hit. This is Rutgers countdown to tip off. Well, they were impressive the other night. Let's see if they can follow it up here on the road this evening, coach. Well, Moore was really great. At Rutgers, you don't just get to play in front of big crowds at the rack and on the road, but on big time TV as well. College basketball next on ESPN News. Rutgers and South Florida do enjoy. Tonight, the Rutgers Scarlet Knights come south to take on the USF Bulls at the Sundo. Buddy Jordan. Oh, he's one of the great players in Rutgers history. He guided that final four team. And we're set to go from USF. Rutgers has won the opening tip, and Miles Mack will bring it into the front court. And aim Jack backing in. Right block jump stop into the lane. Turns around, puts it in, and the foul. Basket counts and the foul. He's probably their best scorer on that front line. He can put the ball in the basket. Kadeem bending his knees, putting it in the air and knocking down the free throw. Kadeem Jack fade away, got it. Nice touch. And that's been a big problem for South Florida. E2 buries a three and it's 12-2. All the painstaking preparation was paying off for Rutgers as the Scarlet Knights had an early 13-0 spurt that helped build a 15-2 lead. A great road start that had them off and running against the Bulls. Campbell. Brown forced it up and got it. Coach Jordan was pleased, but he also knew they would have to withstand a South Florida charge at some point, literally. And there's the elbow. Here's Kadeem checking a two-hand throwdown and a fantastic feed to Kadeem inside. This was a big game. A battle that could decide a first round bye in the upcoming AAC tournament. J.J. Moore returned, trying to ignore the elbow he took to the face. South Florida climbed back into the game, but Kadeem Jack was on his way to a career high. There you go, attacking. It was a typical conference road game, full of runs and mini runs, and some adversity. Mack back the other way to Jack, who's had a great first half. Tried to use the window, the foul is there by Ekbunu. By halftime, the big early lead had disappeared. Rutgers led by one. As the Scarlet Knights started the game, the Bulls started the second half. Followed by Ekbunu, as they got him the ball underneath. South Florida on top for the first time in this game, and now Corey Allen makes it a three-point lead. Mack, nice dish, and J.J. Moore with the easy jam. There was no panic, and Rutgers answered with plenty of counter punches of their own. Kadeem Jack rattles in the jump shot from the left elbow. Kadeem has 17 points. Mack, nice. In the open floor, Miles Mack so hard to stop. Rutgers has regained the lead at USF. Seegers is in. For Rutgers, he's number one. Kadeem Jack with a foul on a basket and the foul. Kadeem Jack would have one of his best games in a Rutgers uniform. South Florida tried, but could not keep up. Wally Judge up top of the key with eight. Jack hands it off. Kone driving to the team. He lays it in and the foul. Malik Kone with an aggressive push to the 10. Moore, right wing, long three is good. Moore, a long 
threes, a 35% long range shooter. We told you earlier he exploded against Houston for 27 a couple of games ago. Oh, Judge. Oh, nice. Again, attacking the paint. Look at his sweet move. The spin using his left. Judge. He's feeling it. Two good looking shots in a row. Judge with eight points. And Rutgers celebrating in midcourt. Kadeem Jack had been celebrating most of the game, mostly in the paint. He finished with a career high 31 points. Kadeem Jack has a great motor. When he plays with a great motor, he's one of the top players in the country, in my regard. He plays above the rim. Um, he's got plays with a lot of confidence. He can continue to play with all of his activity, his intensity, and his athleticism. Um, he can take us a long way. On this night, he helped take them to a big conference road win. A total team effort that left the Scarlet Knights in as good a mood on the bench as they were on the plane ride down. A perfect example of how good coaching leads to good execution, leads to a win. I think a coach had to motivate and make them feel comfortable. And comfortable they were. Final score, 79-69. Rutgers, 79. South Florida, 69. In the warmth of Florida in the winter, the Scarlet Knights put the heat on the Bulls, learning a little more about themselves in the process, lessons they plan to carry into the stretch drive of the season.